Jerry Recording here. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my channel and my daily obligatory three minute video. <laughs> oh, today we are fucking answering terrible goddamn questions from people. Uh, I don't think we actually got 30 people to ask us questions, but are you sure you guys aren't furries? Yes, I'm absolutely positive. In a war between bananas and pajamas with magic that want to have a 1984-style regime and ghosts that want a communist society, who do you choose? We had a brief conversation about this afterwards because, you know, Darnell decided to ask us a question of communists or communists. I'm just like, they're both fucking communists. Uh, so his, his uh, elaboration was, basically, one will have magic spells, be clothed, and be giant walking and talking fruit, while the ghosts are whatever type you prefer. Also, if the bananas win, all bears, stuffed or living, will be sent to gulags. I mean, to be perfectly honest, the ghosts, you can get rid of you here, so let's go with the ghosts, because if they want a communist society, what are they gonna fucking do? Oh! They're ghosts that want a communist society. They don't fucking have a communist society. And they're incorporeal, so fuck you. You make whatever society you want, but don't fucking bother us. A Lord of Chatelet has asked us, Would human sacrifice solve all our global issues? Hashtag bring it back. Well, I don't necessarily think that human sacrifice, like, to a deity, would really do anything. I mean, let's face it. If there is a deity, he, is, he or she is indifferent to all life in the universe. If they weren't, then fucking we would hear about it. But, if you think about it, let's take people who do medium crimes. You know, the things that you don't get a life sentence for. And then we crucify them in the streets. Like, just straight up nail through their hands, and then just disembowel them on live television for three days on 24-hour coverage. I don't think people would be keen to commit crimes if they knew that was the punishment. Regardless, I don't think human sacrifice is going to solve much of anything. Uh, any god out there is not fucking listening to us. From Roman, our favorite Roman. Uh, is Minty fattening that dog up for consumption or sacrifice to your dark gods? Uh, honey, that question is for you. What's the question? Uh... Are you fattening the dog up for consumption or sacrifice to the dark gods? <laughs> Roman uh, asked this one. Okay. Specifically ask the question again. I have Is heard... Minty fattening that dog up for consumption or sacrifice to the dark gods? Wouldn't that be the same thing, though? You would have to fatten it up to sacrifice it to the dark gods. But are, are we supposed to eat the dog as the sacrifice to the dark gods? Or... Like, like he's asking us if we're fatting the dog up to eat it or to sacrifice it to the dark god. Uh, it depends on which dark gods he's talking about. I don't fucking know. I thought you just wanted a goddamn puppy. I did want just a goddamn puppy. Okay, well then that's why you're fucking plumping up the dog, because you want a fat dog. Actually, to be fair, I I love poopy fat dogs, so don't you, judge me. You like fat animals. I'm not going to even And I'm terrible lie. for it, and I know it. Yeah, well, that's, that's all that was uh, really asked, was just these very simple questions. We're three minutes and 40-some seconds in, so we can go ahead and be done. Thank you all very much, and I, I do have something wonderful and special for everybody in the background of this wonderful video. At some point, uh, it's, it's, it's very important that... Um, you know about this. I just have to figure out where the fuck I put it on this goddamn computer. Because, of course, I have no fucking idea where things are anymore. Uh, so, um, yeah. I guess never fucking mind. Uh, you, you know how it goes. Sometimes you just can't find what the fuck you're looking for. I got raccoon shit to do. Good night, folks.